Ruffles have ridges. Now, it sounds a lot better, smoother. I'm tapping it. You can't hear that little. Today, we're going to bring in a condensed microphone, a USB microphone, um, model number AM-25. We're going to open it up. We're going to set it up and see how well it works. So let's go ahead and set it up and open it and see what you get when you get some of this. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. As you can see, they give you two different filters. This is one filter they give you. Actually, this is for the muffle effect that people get. Uh, it's flexible. First of all, it's flexible. You can move it any kind of degree, so you can move it in any angle, pretty much. Uh, filter for the actual microphone itself, all right? Uh, the actual cable, and if you guys can see, the cable is it's a little long. They give you a lot, six feet, six to seven feet, somewhere around there. Uh, type A to Type C, of course. Uh, the microphone is Type C. Uh, a screw, uh, a, a nut that you're gonna need. The actual mount for the base station and then the entry here and of course you could hand tie this finger you know it's just very simple uh this was actually to lock it in in place because you once you enter you have to lock this part in here the extended arm you put the length here it's pretty long it opens up really long it's real tight springs are brand new they're really strong springs you can lock it in in place in certain areas um now they do have an adapters for certain um certain microphone this one's already built with these with the two spinning it spinning it and you're done move the microphone wherever you are stretch it out now we're going to use without the filter first because the filter goes in the top but we're going to remove this for now we're just going to use as this and we're going to mount it up and of course we're going to remove these we're going to put these at the end to see how well they sound with it, both of them together. But right now we're just gonna do it raw right now. So let's take a look at the mount first itself. You guys can see I put it on, I tied it up on my desk and you just twist it in here. Uh, this is very flexible. You could remove it and add a different one if you want. But at the moment, I like the way it handles. The springs are pretty tight, pretty strong. You guys can see it move forward, back and forth, adjust it to wherever you want. The top one too. And then we're gonna get our microphone set up. And right now we're gonna do it raw without any filters first all right so here we are with the microphone itself i'm about a couple inches away i would say like maybe like a foot away i'm gonna put a headset on so i can listen to myself feedback any kind of feedback i'm gonna get we're gonna get it on from here so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna plug it in and of course it is completely plugged in okay now we go so i got the cable going right now but i'm gonna tap it a couple times it's pretty loud, so <laughs> we're gonna turn it down. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that that is pretty powerful. This is without the filters right now. We're doing it without the filters. I'm gonna mute it. One, two, three, one, three, one, two, three. So we're gonna actually set a couple things, and this is without the filters. Ruffles have ridges. Ruffles have ridges, and it's 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 really I hear it, it's a little loud, so I might have to tone it down on the actual system because I'm really close by, but I could move it back a little bit if you want, but I want it more for the actual show. So we are gonna flip it a couple times. I'm gonna go through it back. One, two, three, one, two, three. Front, it's, so it's a directional microphone. It sounds a lot better when you're right in front of it. So you're gonna be streaming, you're gonna be online chatting or any social media or any Zoom calls or um, any kind of um, connections that you're gonna require a microphone. This microphone is going to capture a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of features out there for condensing the, the microphone, making it a little better quality. Um, there's a, a broadcast, a NVIDIA broadcast. If you're on an RTX card, you can run this pretty good. We're going to set up the filters right now, and we're going to see how well, if it even protects or gives it an extra tone. So let's go ahead and set up the filters. So we are set up with the microphone itself. If you guys can see, if you're going to be singing or doing any kind of musical things, this is perfect for you guys out there. Uh, if you guys can see, the filters are ruffles have ridges. Now, it sounds a lot better, smoother. I'm tapping it. You can't hear that little metal grind tap that you can mostly hear. So uh, one thing that people use this is for performances, of course. If you're going to be broadcasting and streaming, uh, you could remove this too. This is only for like if you're gonna be really close up and close with the microphone. You're, 
you know, you get that extra air puff in there that you hear on the, some of the sound. This is actually pretty good. And right now I have the, hit, the, the wires right now, but we're going to tie them, zip tie them right now. But this microphone is pretty good if you're going to be streaming or broadcasting or doing something that you require a microphone. This is actually pretty good. If you're going to be performing, it's actually pretty good that you could attach the extra filter for that thing. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.